I'm going to be covering how to integrate Leaflet in a Ruby on Rails application. Uh, I'm just going to do the bare minimum setup and I'm actually going to uh, emulate the Leaflet start guide which is basically just a map with a marker. So to start we have a Ruby on Rails application and I just have a really basic template. It's very similar to Rails new. It's just got foundation in it and I use CoffeeScript, Haml, and SAS. And you can go to those websites if you're unfamiliar with what those are. So to start I'm going to make a page controller so that way we have something to go to on the app. Let's uh, put the, we'll get rid of this and have the root go there. And then if we go back to the uh, tutorial guide, you can follow what you need for resources. What you need is the style sheet, the JavaScript, and uh, an ID, uh, a div with an ID of map, or anything really, but we're going to go with the map just like they have. And what this is is just converting HTML to Haml so I can use my preferred syntax. Okay. And we're going to put these in the application layout. And you want to put these before the application resources. Uh, because I like to put third-party libraries, generally speaking, you want to put third-party libraries before your application resources, or you require it at the top of your application resource. So now we have Leaflet loaded up. Uh, now we need to go to the page map, and let's get rid of this, and we'll just put a div with an ID of map. Perfect. And we'll go to the stylings, and let's give this a width of 100% and a height of 600 pixels. So now let's start our server. And let's see what we have going. Nothing. Oh. And that's because I need to follow the instructions that they give you, and I need to initialize the map. And so you're going to go into the uh, JavaScript, or in my case, CopyScript. Oh, let's actually get rid of it. I don't like the, the syntax that that compiler gives me. There we go. So now what we should have is a blank map. Now you may be wondering like why doesn't the map show up with the visuals like in the vit in the page? But that's because there's two elements to the map. There's the actual mapping library, which is leaflet and then there's the tile layer. And the tile layer confuses a lot of people, especially because Leaflet's very integrated with Mapbox, and people think you need to use Mapbox and all these things. So what I'm going to show you is how to set up uh, Google tiles with this map. Because one, it's free, and I just know how to use it because I've used it for uh, my mapping applications. Uh, I actually use it for my music festival website. You can see here, this is Google Maps using Leaflet. So now that we have that in there, we need to get Google Maps set up. So there's actually a uh, awesome gist out here called Leaflet Google JS that integrates Leaflet with Google. Obviously, Leaflet Google JS. So you click on the raw, and let's save this library to the vendor assets JavaScript. Perfect. So you'll see vendor assets JavaScript leaflet Google. Now we have to go to our application JS and require leaflet Google. Now there's one more part to uh, the integrating Google Maps. You need to actually have the API from Google 
to load Google Tiles. So I'm on Google Google's developer page and here is a script with the API in it. And one thing to note, this part's very confusing. They make it seem like you need an API key. You do not. You can just get Google Maps going without the API key. So we're going to do that. I think that's just because they want everyone to use their API. I'm not quite sure, but you do not need the API key. Not for this example, at least. So you're going to go to the application layout, and you're going to put that right next to your leaflet JavaScript CDN. Perfect. Uh, so now let's go back to the uh, coffee script where we initialize the map. And now we need to add the tile layer to this map. And you can see on their start guide, they add the tile layer here. They're using Mapbox, and I'm using Google. So to add Google in this interface, you need to type this. And this is defined by the gist, which is the leaflet google.js library. And you have, uh, I'm going to use a roadmap, but you have other options like satellite and uh, I think there's, I can't remember what the other one is, I think terrain. And then we need to add layer, Google layer. So we define the layer and then we add the layer to the map. So now let's go back to the map. And there you go, we have Google Tiles on our app. So let's just add a marker just for uh, posterity's sake. Let me just take their code once again using the compiler. We we'll use the JS to coffee. And there you go. So you can see, so you define the map, you're setting the view, at, I think it's around London, you define the Google tile, you add the tiles to the map, and then we're adding a marker. Now, you saw the marker flash and then it went away. And that's actually a, uh, the, because the Google tiles, when it loads, it has a Z index problem and the map does not cr um, properly, it doesn't properly set the Z indexes so the Google tiles is beside, behind the map. And uh, this is uh, mentioned in the gist in the comments. And so what we need to do is just add this little syntax right here. So we'll go to our CSS. I'm just making it into SAS. And now we should have our marker appear on the front. And there you go. So with just a few lines of code, you have Leaflet with Google Tiles for free with a marker on Ruby on Rails. Thank you.